Hi everyone, welcome to Mindfulness with Lauren. Let's go check our schedule. Today, Mindfulness with Lauren, we are going to do our greeting and get comfortable. We're going to do a silly song about bear hunts. Then we're going to do a bear yoga story. Then we're going to play an imagination game where we imagine what it will be like if we were on a camping trip. We'll do the bell sound and then we'll end and say goodbye. So first, to get started with Mindfulness with Lauren, you're just gonna need a comfortable place to be, maybe on the floor, maybe in a chair. I have a cushion to sit on for some of our seated activities, and I have my water in case I need a break. You can take a water break anytime you need to. All right, so to get started today, I'm gonna sit down and get comfortable. I'm gonna take a few circles of my head, a few circles with my shoulders, maybe my whole body can take a few circles just to get comfortable. I'm gonna take a big deep breath in and when I take a big deep breath in, I'm gonna bring my hands up. Ready, here we go. And when my hands get to the top, I'm gonna to breathe out. Let's do that two more times, here we go. Good job, keep your hands on the ground and look around for something that you see and take a big deep breath in. <sighs> Good job, open up your ears and listen for a sound that you might hear. Nice job. Take a minute and say hello to the people in the room with you. Hello. Great job. All right, we said hello. Now it's time for our bear song. All right, maybe you guys know this song. We are gonna stand up and we're gonna go on a bear hunt. Going on a bear hunt. Going on a bear hunt. Going on a bear hunt. A big one. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's a beautiful day. Uh oh. Grass. Grass. Can you grass. grass me? Yes. <laughs> 
job. All right, let's go check our schedule and see what's next. All right. We said hello and got comfortable. We did our bear song. Now it's time for our bear yoga story. All right, everyone. So, does anybody know what bears do all winter long? Mm -hmm. They hibernate. So when a bear's hibernating, that means it's sleeping. So let's get our big toes touching, our knees on the ground. We'll sit our bottoms all the way back to our feet and stretch all the way out like we're a sleeping bear. Reach your arms way in front of you and pretend to be a sleeping bear. Okay, and then it's going to be springtime. And in springtime, the bears start to wake up. So slowly, slowly, slowly sit all the way back up. Okay, and then our bears, to announce that they've woken up, are going to let out a big roar. So let's bring our arms all the way up and let out a nice big bear roar. Good job. Let's do a nice big bear roar again. Good job. All right. And then our bears have been sleeping for so long that they need to do some good stretching. So let's take one arm and bring it across our body. Good job. Take a big deep breath in. Very good. Let's get our other side. Good job. And then bears put one side down and take a big stretch. Good job. Look up to the sky. Take a big deep breath. Good job. Bring this arm down. And bring your other arm back up. Look up to the sky on the other side. Take a big deep breath in and let it out. Mm. All this bear stretching has made me very hungry. So bears need to go search for something to eat. This bear is interested in looking for some honey. So we need to go find some honey. So bears crawl around like this. So let's do a few bear crawls. Good job. Pick up our arms and our legs and do a little bear crawl to get to a really big tree. Can you be a tree with me? So a tree stands up really tall and it's got some branches. Maybe you a tree can stand on one foot. Maybe your tree needs both legs down. That's okay. Maybe it can be this side. Good job. Try and go down below your knee. Good job. Good job. We found our big tree. And the honey that this bear is hungry for is up in the top of this tree. But the bear can't reach it, so let's try and reach up, see if he can reach it. Oh, that didn't work. Try again. Oh, that didn't work either. Looks like we could try to jump. So get ready to jump. Get down nice and low and jump. Good job. Let's try one more time. Oh, we still didn't get the honey. Let's do one more big jump. Mm, that didn't work. We are going to have to climb this tree like a bear. So get one arm up and the opposite leg and climb up this tree. Can you climb with me? Oh, good job. Let's climb up our tree and get some honey. Good job. Oh, we got it. Okay, let's take a big climb back down. Tuck your honey away. Climb, climb, climb. Okay, jump down. All right, we've got our honey. Bring up your honey. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. After our bear has our honey, he is so happy. He needs to roll around like a happy bear. Can you be a happy bear and roll with me? Lay on your back, bend your knees, and hold your feet and rock side to side. Oh, he feels so good. Good job. He feels so good. He's all happy now. He is full and happy. Give yourself a nice big bear hug. Give your body a big squeeze. Squeeze your shoulders. Good job. Put your arms nice and wide and wrap yourself up again. Mm, that's a good one. Nice job. Phew. That's the end of our bear yoga story. Why don't we get a drink of water? Mm, that was fun. Okay. So now we are going to pretend that we are on a camping trip in the woods or maybe that we're a bear in the woods. Whatever you want to pretend is fine with me, but we'll just get comfortable. I'm actually going to sit on my cushion for this next one. 
and we are going to pretend we're doing our camping trip five senses. So we are going to sit right on that cushion or chair, wherever you're sitting. Take a big deep breath in, and we are going to imagine some sights, some things we could see when we're on our camping trip. So think about what you might see. I'm going to think about the sky, what it might look like. I bet there would be some trees. What else might we see on our camping trip? Maybe we'd be in a tent. We could see our tent. Maybe we'd be camping by some water. We see some water. Maybe there's some dirt on the floor. We can see the dirt on the ground. What can you think of that you might see on your camping trip? Very good. We did things we can see. Let's think about things we would hear on our camping trip. I can think of some trees rustling, maybe some leaves making some sounds. I can think of hearing some little animals scurrying across the ground or climbing up some trees. Maybe there are some birds chirping, I hear them tweet, tweet. I can hear the water running in a creek or a stream that's near our camping trip. Mm. And maybe there's some friends. Maybe I hear some people laughing or talking on our camping trip. What can you think of on our camping trip that you could hear? Good job. We did things you can see. We did things you can hear. Let's think about things that would have a touch. I'm going to think about the ground. I wonder how that would feel. I bet it would feel like dirt. I'm going to think about the sound that sleeping bags and tents make when you rub them. Kind of a squishy sound. Kind of can feel how smooth that would feel. Hmm, what else can we feel on our camping trip? Maybe the bark on the trees feels rough. Hmm. What else can you feel when you're on a camping trip? All right, we did things you can see. We did th things you can hear. Things you can feel, things you can see, things you can hear. What will we do next? Things you can smell. Hmm, I'm gonna think about the smell of being outside. Sometimes it smells like fresh air. Hmm. I'm going to think about the smell of maybe having a cookout or a campfire. That smells good to me. I'm going to think about the smell of flowers or maybe some bushes or things that are growing nearby. What kind of things can you smell on your camping trip? Nice job. I've done things you can see. Things you can hear, things you can feel, things you can smell. The last one is things you can taste. Hmm. On our camping trip, we don't taste very much. But maybe we toasted some marshmallows and had some s'mores, and I can taste the marshmallow and the chocolate and the graham cracker. Maybe we did a cookout with some hamburgers or hot dogs on our camping trip, and I can taste a crunchy hot dog. Mmm, what else could you taste on your camping trip? Good job. Let's check our schedule. We said hello. We did our bear song. We did our bear yoga story. We did our camping trip five senses. It's time for the bell sound. So you can stay seated comfortably wherever you are. I'm going to get a drink of water first. Maybe you want to do that too. Very good. Right, so if you've seen the other Mindfulness with Lauren videos, you know that when the bell sound comes on, we sit comfortably, we listen for the bell sound, and when we hear it, we bring our arms up to the sky. We listen and listen, the bell sound keeps going, and we keep our hands up for as long as we can hear the bell sound. As soon as you stop hearing the bell sound, you put your arms down. 
Then you sit and you listen for the bell sound to come back on again. And when you hear the bell sound again, bring your arms back up to the sky. When you don't hear the bell sound anymore, you can put your arms back down. Maybe you want to close your eyes while you listen to help you listen better. That's fine too. The bell sound will happen two times. So are you ready? Let's get the first one. Here we go. Listen for that bell sound. Good job. Remember to keep breathing while you listen for the bell sound to come on again. check our schedule. We did hello, we did the bear song, we did bear yoga, we did our camping trip by senses, and we did the bell sound. All right, it's time to say goodbye. Let's do two more deep breaths. Ready? Take a big deep breath in, bring your arms up, and let it all out. Good job. Let's do one more. Good job. Let's do a few circles with our head. A few circles with our shoulders, a few circles with our bodies. Good job. And when it's time to say goodbye at the end of Mindfulness with Lauren, we thank each other for showing up and we thank our bodies for doing mindfulness with us. Take a big deep breath in. Good job and let it out. Thank you for coming today and I'm so glad you could join us.